Today I would like to show you a neat little program I found while I'm browsing the internet. Looking for a way to have a list of folders and applications you always want to access. Um, I've been using, you know, True Launch Bar and stuff, and I finally came across a neat one which is free. Uh, requires registration, but that's free too. Called Launch Bar Commander. Now, this might be a pretty good application for somebody who uses Windows 8 and doesn't like the whole Metro interface, or at least doesn't like it yet. So when you open up Launch Bar Commander, it gives you a bar which I now have hidden, which oh, VMware get on the way, which shows up on top, and you can configure it. Like for instance, um, it comes pre-configured with Control Panel uh, and Start Menu Programs, and I added the Power Options um, via Add right here. Let's close that. And actually, for now, let's just go ahead and unhide it. There we go. So what you get is, by default, and you can get rid of this and add something else, Control Panel. And this, actually, I'm using right now is Windows 8. Um, so here's Control Panel. Uh, so like Display. Everything opens up. Programs. This is your programs list. So instead of going to the Metro or doing a search, from any, or from the top of the monitor, you can click on this, bring down a list of all your applications, and choose the one that you want, like WordPad. Now one thing I did too, and is, there was no way to make, like for instance this one, to make a My Computer drop down, which is kind of handy. So what I did is just went into Explore underneath Computer, and just said, you know, create shortcut which gave them to me here. Then I just came over here to shortcuts, oops, made a little folder called shortcuts and threw a, the ones I use all the time in here. And then just simply linked to it. But one thing you might find interesting or, or fun to do in Windows 8 with this program is let's create a whole brand new menu. We're gonna call it add node uh, direct. Yeah, we can call it directory. We're gonna go ahead and call it um, you can call it folders, shortcut, whatever you want. And let's go ahead and make a new folder here. Shortcut, we'll call it folders. There we go. And in here, we can just um, add folders that we would want to access all the time. Like, for instance, um, let's just say you want to access these. Let's go ahead and create a shortcut. And you can tweak this as, as best you want. And obviously, we don't want the word shortcut at the end of these. So we'll just say shortcut and shortcut. There we go. So now in here, we can just say browse. Let's see. Computer. Shortcuts. Folders. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and close it. And inside Windows 8, no matter which application you're in, you can go up to the top and say, hey, I want to access program files. Depending on which one you want to access. Oh, if you notice how they're big compared to these, they're small. I'll get off there. There we go. When you create a new one, by default, it goes to large icons. So I want to check that. So let's say we want to go to program files x86. Just go like this. Boop. And there's your, uh, your list. Um, so I don't know, this might be something kind of fun for Windows users or Windows 8 users to try. You can play around with it, and actually I'm using it on Windows 7 too, so that works pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and link to the website underneath the video so you can find the program and kind of play with it. And have fun, but yeah, I think for anybody who uses Windows 8, oh, like for instance, power options. You can go up here and just say, um, you know, shut down. And right now it's running off a uh, okay. My bad. Uh, you might be able to create your own shortcut, which does that. These shortcuts aren't working, so they might not be Windows 8 compatible. That's too bad. That was kind of cool. 
So since they don't work, we'll just uncheck power options. And I'm sure you can add your own, like for instance, um, I don't know, you can play with it. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. And close. And one neat thing too, when you first install the program, you'll notice that the bar is about that big. And so the instructions he gives is you can actually um, put your mouse right here on any section, or blank section, hold down the control key, and then use your arrow keys to go up and resize it just how you like it. I think there we go. So now we're just going to go into configure preferences, go back to first dock, and we're going to say auto hide. Hmm, auto slide. What's that? Let's go try that. Okay, it slides down instead of just pops down. So let's go here and say auto hide. I guess we have to hit save first. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so one slides, one drops down. So if, for instance, we're inside, and I wonder if it's always on top. Okay. So we're just going to go up at the top. Oh, that's, that's my VMware popping up. Okay, go up at the top. And from here, we can choose programs, computer, folders, and whatever else you want. I mean, this thing, you can create a directory listing a mile long. So if you have a folder with a lot of subfolders. Um, oh, yeah, if you have a folder with lots of subfolders, for instance, configure preferences. We'll go in here and add node, uh, directory folder. We'll just call this, for instance, program files. And say, hey, use, I mean, you wouldn't want to use this one, but as an example of one that has lots of subfolders, we're going to go ahead and hit save. Okay, now, if we choose program files, I wish it wouldn't default to large icons. It's kind of annoying. And from here we have um directory listing of all of our um stuff. So there you go. Have fun, enjoy, and uh, hope it helps some of you Windows 8 users. Thanks.